Hey guys, so when we first discussed Logan Paul suing CoffeeZilla, and you can read the comments, the majority of comments were like, oh, don't worry about this, CoffeeZilla is just going to anti-slap it. Now, it turns out the court that was they filed in, and this would be something a lawyer would know, does not have any anti-slap protections. They're not going to file in a court where the case will just get remanded because of anti-slap. That would defeat the purpose of having a legal team, and that would be defeat the purpose of hiring five lawyers from three different law firms. That one we settled pretty early on. That one was pretty obvious. Then the Legal Eagle video went out, and the notion was, okay, CoffeeZilla, he will be protected by insurance. We don't need to worry. He has said multiple times that he pays quite a bit of money for what was called media insurance. I made a video about media insurance and about that the fact that coverage varies. And I don't think they're going to cover him because I am very skeptical of insurance in general. People downvoted the video. They said, no, no, he, coffee's smart. He will definitely get... And that that's kind of... What I'm making this video on, you can be as smart as CoffeeZilla in investigative journalism. Imagine how smart he is and how much investigation he does, but not understand a contract or be able to be fooled by a contract. Let me repeat this again. I'm not saying that Coffee is not good at his job. He's probably one of the best, if not the best, to do it on YouTube. That does not mean you cannot sign a bad contract, right? He signed a bad con. Had he read every single word, every single line of his contract, he would have asked the basic question, what about defamation? I'm here for defamation. How come this contract does not cover defamation? Or at some point in time, he would have read the contract and realized, hey, uh, I need to get a new insurance agency. And hopefully he would have got one before Logan Paul sued and that insurance agency would cover him. This is what I'm, I've been trying to say. The legal, even for a lawyer to be sued, which would be me, I learned a lot of things. I learned a lot of things. Every I has to be dotted and every T has to be crossed when you are being sued. And I learned that, hey, there are, I mean, there are very bad judges out there and they're often very biased juries. You hope that you have something fair but often you don't even get to trial because you're too busy paying the money effing legal fees. This case will cost CoffeeZilla at least a million dollars. That's why he had the insurance. That's why he had to, he, he had the insurance specifically for the case that if he was sued for defamation and the coverage would be a million dollars. It will cost him around a million dollars to take this to trial and finish it in trial at least. Logan Paul is much richer than any of you guys know. Prime Energy Drink outsells Gatorade. So in terms of how much money Logan Paul is worth, he's worth a ton, a ton of money, like an incredible amount of money. So when he sues and he has this massive legal team, it means nothing to him. He is not going to sue. Let me, let me put it this way. He is not going to sue CoffeeZilla if his insurance covers it let me it would defeat the purpose of suing coffeezilla if his insurance is just going to cover it so at some point i actually talked to a friend about this he must have known that there was a weakness in coffeezilla's media insurance and you might think how do you know this well in coffee's video he mentioned that this was an insurance policy given to multiple youtubers you know YouTubers like to collab. We just saw Mr. Beast have the 50 largest YouTubers collab, one of them being Logan Paul. What is the likelihood that Mr. Beast got talking to an individual and they said, yeah, I have the same insurance policy as CoffeeZilla. He asked, hey, can I see it? Send it to my lawyers. They send it to the lawyers and they were like, wait a second, this does not include that for me. He is, in my opinion, like... He's very smart. 
Logan is very smart and he knows how to play the game. I believe he didn't sue initially and he apologized because he believed Coffee Zilla did have defamation. So the whole court thing about the anti slap, you would it doesn't matter. Anti slap does not matter. You would never sue in a court with anti slap if you are the plaintiff. If you're Logan Paul, that's not even an option because it wouldn't make any sense to spend all this money on legal fees and do a hoopla and then just have it been like sent back to you with very little cost from the defendant. You want the defendant to suffer. You want the defendant to pay money. You want the defendant to feel pain and settle with you and maybe even give you an apology. That's what Logan Paul was hoping to happen. What if the defendant has an insurance policy? Well... That would not be great. You would not be able to cause that defendant the suffer or that yeah defendant the suffering that you want. I think we can all agree that Logan Paul is in it to hurt Coffeezilla. I think this lawsuit is meant to hurt him. Well, how can it hurt him if he is protected by his insurance? If this insurance is what which Coffeezilla at many times has spoken about, media insurance is so rock hard. Why would Logan Paul sue Coffeezilla? He wouldn't. Right, he would so he would be spending probably close to three million dollars, and Coffeezilla would just continue to pay his insurance that he was already paying for. This is how I came to the conclusion that there's something wrong with this insurance policy because Logan Paul is not stupid. He is not going to sue. Let me repeat this: He's not going to sue a person with media insurance that will cover it because there's no pain. To Coffeezilla, right? If he wins or loses, the monetary pain. And if anything, Coffeezilla can just can create free content from it. Logan is not what you think he is. He's a lot smarter, and you you might be he's he's smarter in like, you know how people say, "Oh, you're book smart versus street smart." He's legal smart. The dude is a, I mean, he could be a lawyer. He could be a lawyer. He is legal smart. He read that contract that Coffeezilla didn't read. I'm almost certain that he got a hold of Coffeezilla's... That's why he took a whole year. That's why he didn't sue last year because he thought he was protected by insurance. Why sue somebody who's protected by insurance? It doesn't matter. right? You're going to spend more money, 3 to $5 million, trying to win $1 million than, than it matters. Plus, you haven't really injured that person at all. What if Logan Paul figured it out? What if Logan Paul sensed that something was wrong and he wanted to check Coffee's insurance and it took him this time to check it and confirm that he was not covered by insurance? And he could confirm that with another larger YouTuber. Considering the number of YouTubers that would need this type of insurance, you can probably name a few, right? There's a few. There's a few that Logan Paul has even met I'm not going to name names because I don't know, but there are people who have this exact insurance or should have this type of insurance, defamation insurance, or what they would assume is defamation insurance, at the actual Mr. Beast 50 influencer contest. There are people who are big YouTubers who just talk about other. Logan Paul is not what you think he is. He is a legal genius. And he's a legal genius through experience. He's been sued and has sued a lot. Even just the prime energy drink thing, it's constantly in lawsuits, even against Olympics right now. 